Hey guys, Andy here. So, before I get into this video, I might be playing NASCAR 121 Ignition sometime soon. I don't know which concrete date, I don't know which date I'm going to play it. Well, there's no concrete date yet though, but I might play it because I'm a I'm a fan I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a big fan of NASCAR because of one guy named Slap Shoes. He does like these NASCAR documentaries. He did one about Curtis Turner. He did one about Bowman Gray Stadium. He did one about the best finish in NASCAR history, which was the 2003 Carolina Dutchess 400 between Kurt Busch and Ricky Craven, no doubt too. And then when I watched that race on YouTube, I gotta say that that was the best race I've ever seen in my lifetime. And I got, I only watched an hour of uh, this year's Southern 500. I give, I, I give Eric Jones my congratulations because that's like the first time since the 60s that the number 43 won, won Dunstan Raceway. The last time was like the king, the, the king himself, Richard Petty, won that race in Dunstan, at Dunstan, no doubt, too. Congrats to Eric Jones and, the, and, and, Penny G, and Penny GMS Motorsports for that, too. Now, now, now for NASCAR tournament, Ignition. So you guys voted on which team should I uh, um, sign up for. So you guys voted, and I'm going with the Web Brothers team, and then, and then number 21, and number 21 Ford, because the, th on the three teams I follow on NASCAR are Hendrick, Mo uh, Hendrick, Hendrick Motorsports, Petty GMS, and the Wood Brothers team, because back in the 70s, David Pearson drove for the Wood Brothers team, no doubt, too. Even, Bi even Bill Elliott drove for them as well, too. Yeah, I'm a huge Bill Elliott and Chase Elliott fan myself because Chase Elliott won the 2020 Net NASCAR Cup Series champion. And guys like Slap Shoes, The Iceberg, Eric Estep, those guys are big NASCAR fans and without them I wouldn't I wouldn't have research, I wouldn't have researched as a NASCAR fan. I I watched a NASCAR race on TV in years, but thanks to Slap Shoes the iceberg and Erica Step, you got you, you guys are awesome, and and th thanks to you guys for a uh, for me giving well me putting the effort to watch NASCAR again. So, and if I ever go to NASCAR, if I ever go to a NASCAR race, it's got to be at Atlanta Motor Speedway, Darnton Raceway, or Talladega. Dega baby, yeah, yes. Yeah, so I'm going with Webber's team, no doubt too, because. Way back in the seventies, with David Pearson, with a with the, with the number twenty one with the number twenty one Mercury, no doubt the Web Brothers and David Pearson, unstoppable, no doubt too. Yeah, only he competed at the big events when he was like a racing part time with Web Brothers team, no doubt too. Well, he was mostly mostly full time, no doubt too, but he scaled down. So, yeah, keep rocking to heaven, David Pearson. You are the best. So now. On to the actual point of the video here, no doubt too. I did a few I did a few community posts on the Wiggles and NASCAR. The recent one was 90s Wiggles as 50s to 60s NASCAR drivers. Greg, the yellow wiggle, no doubt, is the king himself, Richard Petty. Murray is Donnie Allison. Anthony is Bobby Allison, and Jeff is Curtis Turner. Yeah, Curtis Turner was was an oddball, and everybody loved it. Even Big, even Big, even Big Bill Francine, no doubt, too. Quote, he's the greatest race car driver I ever saw. Something like that. And New Wiggles asked 2000 NASCAR drivers. This was, this was two days ago, no doubt, too. Simon, Bill, because... Yeah, I know. Well, Bill Elliott in the '90s was an owner driver driving the '94 McDonald's car because that was Junior Johnson's, Junior Johnson's other sponsor. So Bill poached a McDonald's from Junior, from Junior Johnson, no doubt too. Driven the driven the the '94 car. I didn't know who Bill Elliott was until I watched Slashy's documentary about Awesome Bill from Dawson Bill, no doubt too. Even a friend of mine at work is a big Bill Elliott fan, no doubt too. Because Bill Elliott with the Dodge Factory team, also known as Raven Hand Motorsports, no doubt too, with him and Sterling Marlin. Yeah, Bill made a resurgence. 
Well, back in the 90s, it was like a slump, a, a slump decade for him, but in the 2000s with that number 9 Dodge Intrepid, Bill and Sterling were unstoppable and put Dodge back on the map because Dodge came back at the 20-year high, it is no doubt, too. Emma is Tabo Dine, Lockie is Dylan Hart Jr., and Will Mina is Ricky Craven, no doubt, too, because Ricky Craven had two wins to his career. One at Martinsville against Doe Jarrett, and the other one at Darlington Race when Chelsea three against Kurt Busch. And for 90s and script drivers are not two. Emma is Starling Marlin. Will Mina, Lake Speed. Simon, Mark the Kid Martin. For me, I love Mark Martin. I love Mark Martin, Bill O, Chase Elliott, Jeff Gordon, Dylan Hart Jr., all the Hendrick, Hendrick team. Anthony is Jeff Gordon, and Lockie is Johnny Benson. Because I think Johnny Benson was at, was at Roush Racing, no doubt, too, with... I think it was with Mark Martin and a few other drivers. And the goes from the 90s is an escort drivers, no doubt. Greg is Martha K. Martin. Jeff is, well, obviously Jeff Gordon. Anthony is Brett Bodine because I think I think Brett Bodine competed in the 1992 Hooters 500 because it was a season finale at Atlanta North Speedway. Yeah, Rick Mass won the pole and Brett Bodine was on the outside. And Murray's with Rusty Wallace. <laughs> And if the Wiggles were sponsoring a NASCAR team, who they would sponsor? So most of you said Hendrick Motorsports. And 14% of you tied for, for the Wood Brothers team and for Richard Children's Racing. And 29% of you said to Team Penske. And 0% for, for Jim Johnson and Associates. So yeah, so Hendrick Motorsports because it's like the it's like it's like the best team. So I guess since most of you guys voted for Hendrick Motorsports, I swear, you guys are like massive Hendrick fans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so Wiggles were sponsoring it. Yeah. So the Wiggles performed at NASCAR track. Where did they perform at? So it was a four way tie between Daytona, Bowman Gray Stadium, Johnson Raceway, and Homestead, Miami. And the majority of you said Talladega, so. The Wiggles were performing. Next venue, Dega Baby. And if the Wiggles founded and funded a NASCAR team, will they compete part time or full time in the NASCAR Cup Series? So, three of you said full time, and the rest of you said part time. So, they're going full time here, baby. And what NASCAR team would Emma from the Wiggles drive for? So, a three way tie between the Wood Brothers team. JGR and RCR, no doubt. JGR is Joe Gibbs Racing and Richard Chose Racing is RCR, so Hendrick Motorsports, yep, it's just like a trend. It's Hendrick all the way or nothing, man. <laughs> and what if Dorothy Gale from the Wizard of Oz was an NASCAR driver? She'd be the first driver since Alan Quick to be, uh, to be a competitor. Born more than Mason Dixon, no doubt, too, because Kansas is a Midwestern state, now, now Southeastern state, but. Well, my, I think my guess she would be an owner driver like Alan Kowicki, R.P. Alan Kowicki, R.P. Alan Kowicki. Yeah, it's something I, something I know. So, what other characters that you want me to do if he or she competed in an NASCAR team? Comment down, comment down below your favorite cartoon character so I can do it. I'd say like if Angelica from the from Rugrats compete, if she was an NASCAR driver, she had she has the um, Kadabi Williams of Junior Johnson because Junior Johnson got bought. Got, I think I, I'll call this video. NASCAR and cartoon characters. So that's what was going down too. What if Angelica f from the Rugrats? I'll, com I'll compare her to, J to Junior Johnson because Junior Johnson was conniving, no doubt too. This guy had a model, a model on Russian, no doubt too. He was a bootlegger from North Carolina, just like Wendell Scott. Well, 
yeah, Moreno Scott was, was a bootlegger, no doubt, because after a period of prohibition, no doubt, most dry, well, most counties in the southeast were mostly dry counties, so most of these guys had, th had 32 to 34 coops. They had to tune their engines just, just to stay one step ahead of the cops, no doubt, too. And if Angelica was like Jim Johnson, conni conniving, mile on rap sheet, you know, Angelica was like greedy as all hell, no doubt, too. Yeah, she's like, well, she's connected like uh, Junior Johnson and Tim Dane like, like uh, Dylan Hart Sr. Yeah, that's something else, isn't it? Yeah, if Susie, uh, yeah, if Susie Carmack f from the Rugrats was a NASCAR driver, she'd be the, the uh, I think she'd be the third African American driver since Wendell, uh, since Wendell Scott and Bubba, and Bubba Wallace, no doubt, too, to compete in NASCAR, no doubt, too. Yeah, if Lori and Lenny from the Loud House, no doubt, too. Yeah, there'd be more competitors born north of the Mason Dixon line, no doubt, too. Because now Quick was the first northern invader to this mostly. This mostly. This sport down here in the blue collar southeast. NASCAR, no doubt, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm a huge. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of NASCAR, no doubt, too. Yeah. See more cartoon characters. What if the cast from to from Total Drama Island, no doubt, to compete in NASCAR? They have their own team, their own drivers. Mostly they have, they have, the, entire, they have the entire pick room, no, no doubt, too. Yeah, they yeah they be for they'd be the first born. I think. Yeah, they'd be the first from like the great on the Great White North, Canada, no doubt too, just to come down here and to to compete in the NASCAR Cup Series, no doubt too. If if the Loud House had their own team, I think they call Loud Motorsports, no doubt too, with Lloyd and Lenny as their drivers. I think the crew chief would be like. Will be like Lynn Jr. and the uh, the driver spotter will be Lisa because you know she she yeah on the big tracks like Talladega, Daytona, Homestead, Michigan. Yeah, I think I think Michigan International Racing, no doubt too. We'll, we'll be riding the wheelhouse, no doubt too. Else, else the, the on Daytona, no doubt too, and Sonoma, California, Watkins Glen. And if they competed in, in F1 and Indy Car, no doubt, that would be like a washout too. But I think in order to get to the top, you got to compete in the Arca Series, the Wheel and Modified Division, the Xfinity Series, now, well, then called the Bush Series, no doubt, too. And the Cup Series was the Grand National Series, no doubt. Then, like the next up, Cup Series, the Spring Cup Series, and the Winston Cup Series, no doubt, too. And if I competed in NASCAR, no doubt, I'd be the third Georgian since Bill and Chase Elliott. No, scratch that. I'd be the like the like the fourth Georgian to compete like with the uh, likes of the, of the Flock Brothers and the Elliott and the Elliotts, no doubt too. Bill and Chase. Yeah, I might get, I'm I might compete in a uh, a bomb tier team, but if I knew how to pilot a race car around, you know, I'm I might. If I if I win like a NASCAR Cup if I win like a NASCAR Cup race, I do in style no doubt too. Like the Polish Ridley lad no doubt too. I don't start doing that. I think in one instance, I think I played like the one of the NASCAR video games was like um I think it was like NASCAR 2011, the, the inside line no doubt. Yeah, I think there's an achievement called the Alan Kowicki lap or something like that because I did like the uh, thing around. I didn't know what it was until I, I didn't know what the Polish, Polish lap was until I saw Alan Kowicki's finish at the 1992 Hooters 500. I wasn't live back then to see uh, Alan's dominance because I, I, I was born in 9 no doubt too. So it was like, like six years after his death no doubt. 
Yeah, I think I didn't grow up with with the NASCAR just yet, though. Well, my guess, since I was born to Northern parents, no doubt. My dad's from uh, New York, and my mom is from Illinois. My guess they were interested. That my guess they were interested in NASCAR, no doubt either. Besides, I've asked my dad if he watched the Sub 500, and he said no, no. I think. Yeah, I think my uncle Paul watched like the race in Atlanta. He saw Chase Elliott. I think my cousin Cliff watched that race, no doubt too. My guess, yeah, him, Uncle Paul, and Uncle Steve are like massive NASCAR fans. Also, there's like a YouTuber by the name of um, Tom and Jerry, Wizard of Oz fanboy. Yeah, he's an he's an NASCAR fanatic. Yeah, let's see. See if I can if I can find it. Yep, that's him right there. Even though it's from the Philippines, no doubt. He's a he's he's an NASCAR fan. Yeah, he subscribed to uh, NASCAR, NASCAR and Fox, and Erica Step. Yeah, my guess is his favorite to Slash Shoes, the Iceberg. Even guys like Amp Lemon, no doubt, too. Yeah, I think Amp Lemon, Amp Lemon made a few videos on that, on that, no doubt, too, because I think he um, did one about Talladega. He did one about the Art uh, the of Revenge, and yeah, n n well, never have ever, I think. Amp Lemon NASCAR. Yeah, I did NASCAR on the other other revenge. Talladega NASCAR's most feared track. There'll never be another drug like 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 that like Dale Earnhardt. So he did three videos on NASCAR, no doubt too. Yeah, when I first saw Sasha's video on Talladega, no doubt, I said, "Oh my God!" Yeah, because you know, Union busting and yeah, that first race Talladega was nothing was without controversy because the the PDA is professional. A professional Drivers Association, a tie war between Goody and Firestone, and I think there's only a few tie wars in NASCAR, no doubt, like Goody and Firestone, and Goody and Hoosier tires, and that I think that was it. Yep, Amp Lemon. On your favorite tracks. Get a head start on the 2022 season. Yep, more sports games than that too. Yeah, I think I gotta get a jump on the 2022 season. Yeah, I can't wait to play. Can't wait for that game. So. And plus, it's Sean Ben, no doubt, too, has number 43 on it. And on our Richard Petty, no doubt, too, and his 200 career wins. Yeah, it did a few bits on it on NASCAR, no doubt. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, last year, he wished Richard Petty a happy birthday. Yep, 200 wins, no doubt. Also did like a, uh, he did a few videos. I think he did a video about his number fourth memorial memorial day card, no doubt too. Yeah, he used a car of tomorrow car in that thing. Well, my you, I think I grew up during the era era of the car of tomorrow, no doubt. Because I think NASCAR, the game, I think NASCAR '09 and NASCAR Inside Line. Used the car to tomorrow, no doubt, too. Because pack racing. Yeah, a friend of mine. Named Scott, no doubt. Scott, no doubt. He's a big Dale Earnhardt fan, no doubt, too. 
Yeah, I know I'm like diverging from the main topic, but... But, he loves pack racing. Even with the strip to play No Doubt 2, you get some good racing No Doubt 2. Either the FDRN's 499 and 2011 No Doubt 2. Lots of lead changes No Doubt 2. Man, yeah, it's announced, dude. Yep, did they turn to 500 the Great American Race? The biggest race of all, no doubt, too, I, and I love it. Yeah, look at the Ride Rock Boys has a uh, car tomorrow, a next gen car, and, and, and a truck series truck. Yeah, the number 43, 40, 50, the Toyota Camry, 90 Chevy Camaro, no doubt too. It could have used number 9 suit of Chevy, no doubt too, man. Yeah, mind you, I'm Chase Sully fan, no doubt, and he's a Richard Petty fan. Yep. Keep Richard the first of his name, no doubt too. <laughs> Yep. Just so there's like most of us NASCAR fans out there, including yeah me, some of my some of my family members went up too. I hope NASCAR makes a resurgence, just like it did in the '90s, with lots of avatars no doubt too. So yeah, if you guys are if you guys are NASCAR fans, sign up in the comments below. Anyway. Until next time, y'all take it easy. See you guys.